I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that in the perceived chaos in the world, the church, the Louisiana Annual Conference, that God will once again step in. The Spirit of the Lord has been poured upon us to feed hungry people, to provide water to those who thirst, welcome the stranger, clothe the naked, take care of the sick, and visit those who are in prison. We, we, the body of Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, bringing order out of chaos. Now, if that doesn't take bold imagination, I don't know what does. Now, I know that some of the changes that we are experiencing might feel like we're facing death. But if we don't experiment, if we don't try new things, make some changes, the risk is that we will miss reaching those who need to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Remember, we said that we hold nothing sacred but the mission to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. This disciple-making transformation business takes courage, requires risk, creativity, and yes, sometimes all of that comes at a cost. But new life rises, and friends, it is so worth it. I'm not worried, friends, about God doing God's work. Will we do ours? Because there's a land out there filled with milk and honey. There's fruit, there's grapes, pomegranates, and figs, and the fruit is ripe. Are we willing to sacrifice, give something up, lose something in order to make room for something else to hold nothing sacred but the mission? I am clear that we need to be in this together, giving one another space to try new things. We are not the ones at stake. Those we have not reached are the ones at stake. Creativity is birthed in tension. God makes all things new, joy in the morning. There's light in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. Out of this chaos, God will once again create something new and say, it is good. Once again, grace will carry us when we have no tools, when we arrive at the mountains with canoes strapped to our back. Grace has brought us safe thus far. And grace will lead us to the next place on the journey, a new home. A new home may be filled with milk and honey, a place where the fruit is plentiful, where there are grapes and pomegranates and figs.